Hello. So, uh, I'm in the car, uh, stuck in LA traffic. I've been stuck in this traffic for like an hour and a half. I was listening to Hunger Games on the uh, book on the CD, which I started the last time I was in LA for VidCon and then I <laughs> didn't listen to it, so I had to listen to a whole CD again to remember what was going on. Uh, for those of you who are curious, I just got to the part, spoiler alert, where she thinks PETA, well, PETA's teamed up with the other, the, the career tributes, uh, at least that's what Katniss thinks. Uh, but anyway, I decided I might as well uh, film a vlog, and sorry for the weird angle, but I am driving, so... <laughs> uh, so I don't know if this is normal traffic, or if it's because there was an accident. I think it's probably a combination of both. I did see some ambulances earlier. But, anyway, so uh, you guys may be wondering why I was in LA. Well, so yesterday, uh, Wednesday, no, Tuesday, uh, September something, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Toby Turner put out a tweet on his Twitter that was like, I'm looking for a Minecraft expert. Email for details or something. And I was like, well, I don't really know what that means, but sure, why not? So I emailed and I promptly got back an email saying, yeah, I'm looking for somebody to install Minecraft mods, research and install Minecraft mods, and know a lot about indie games that are coming out and which ones might be hits and maybe video edit and maybe make thumbnails and some other small stuff. And I was like, well, all of those things are perfectly within my realm of, of things that I know how to do, um, mostly from my own channel. And uh, then right after that, I got an email from his assistant, Claire, saying, hey, we'd like you to come in for an interview tomorrow. And I was like, tomorrow? In LA? Huh. But uh, I figured, you know, even even if it's not likely that I'll get it, um, just because I live in San Diego, although I do want to move, well, it's not that I want to move to LA, it's that I feel like I kind of have to move to LA if I want to uh, become a serious YouTuber, because that's where pretty much all the other, uh, you know, career YouTubers are, and they collab collaborate with each other and stuff, uh, and go to the YouTube space and everything like that. Um, I hate traffic. Anyway, so I, uh, yeah, I drove and I went there and it was kind of funny because I got to the place where it was and uh, I saw Toby talking to somebody else in the corner and I was like, oh, am I supposed to approach or should I stay here? I don't know. Don't you fucking cut in front of me. I love how like all the lanes are, you know, stopped, but as soon as one of them opens up just a tiny bit, like, everybody's like, oh my god, that lane's moving! Even though it's only going to move, like, three inches. Ugh, people are dumb. <sighs> Road rage, ah! Anyway. Uh, but yeah, so, uh... I, I went to the, the place, and I sat at the bar, and I was just going to wait until it was my turn, because I wasn't set until, like, 1.30, it was only 1. And after a couple of minutes, a guy came over and introduced himself as Toby's assistant, and he basically interviewed me. He asked, you know, how much do you know about Minecraft, and installing mods, and stuff like that, and... You know, I told him that I play I play a lot of Minecraft. Um, I'm fairly experienced with installing Minecraft mods, but mods in general, I, I've been installing mods since pretty much since I started playing PC games. I mean, back in you know the days of the, the very first The Sims and Morrowind and stuff like that, uh, installing mods was a lot more difficult than it is now. There's still problems. I mean, as the hours and hours I've spent trying to get Skyrim uh, Skyrim mods to play nice together uh, proves there's still plenty of room for error, especially in the more complicated mods. But anyway, and as far as indie games go, um, I actually, the, the night before, um, like I've, I've already been interested in a lot of indie games, but I kind of went through a refresher and I just like looked at a bunch of upcoming ones. I told them about some of the ones I'm looking forward to, like obviously Starbound for obvious reasons. Um, there's another one called Gone Home that I've read a couple of reviews, or not reviews, uh, interviews with the makers, um, where it's basically, it's like a mystery thing that you have to solve where you go to this house and there's a girl missing, but what's interesting is it's not really talking to people, it's looking for actual clues like, you know, just, I don't know, notes and, I don't know, an upturned table or whatever, just stationary objects, uh, that, that, 
give you the clues of what happened. Um, and then the story is supposed to be very interesting with like increasing plot divergence and all this other stuff and it just sounded interesting and then this other one that I heard of a while ago and then I didn't hear anything of it for um, a, about half a year and then when I looked it up again last night there's a couple of new things or the night before last there are a couple of new things about it it's called uh, Among the Sleep I think it's called uh, and it's a game where you play a two-year-old child and it's kind of like Rugrats if Rugrats was made by the same people that made Silent Hill uh, because there's there's monsters and stuff like that in it, but all the world and everything, it's as a two-year-old would perceive it. So, you know, you're closer to the ground and shadows become monsters. And I don't know, it just sounded really interesting. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I told uh, this other guy, Rory, about that stuff. And he was like, okay, great. Um, how about you make, like, a test video and send it to me? And I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm going to do that when I get home. And then I was like, can I say hi to Toby since I've m met him a couple times? And Rory was like, oh, I think he's kind of busy right now. And I was like, oh. So I started to leave kind of downcast. But then as soon as I stepped outside, uh, Claire walked by. And I don't know how she recognized me. I, I knew her from, uh, I think I saw her in like a Toby Games Live video or something like that. Um, but somehow she recognized me because she was like, oh, hey, are you Cleo? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, can you hold on a second? I'm like, oh, well, Rory already talked to me. She's like, that's okay. Just hold on a second. So, okay. So I stood there outside and a couple seconds later, Toby comes out and I was just like, whoa, okay. Hi. And I, I, I don't know if he's just friendly or if he actually does remember me, but I mean, I have talked to him like three or four times at conventions. So anyway, he saw me and he was like, hey. And so we started talking, we went back into the restaurant and we sat where I had been sitting with Rory, which was kind of funny. Um, and, uh, we sort of had like a second interview, but it kind of just spun off into like a conversation, uh, because I have this tendency and I've mentioned it before, but I have this tendency to treat people I don't really know as if I've known them for a long time. And some people really don't react very well to that. They find it very like overly forward, but then some people, I don't know, seem refreshed by it. And they respond in kind and we just end up having like a normal conversation. So that's pretty much what happened with Toby is that for like half an hour we had a pretty normal conversation. Um, and I told him that Rory told me to make the, the test video. He was like, okay, great. Um, and then finally he did. He went off to go back to work and I left and I wandered and explored a little bit. Uh, and then I went to my friend's house in North Hollywood and we went and got sushi and then we were gonna do something we were gonna hang out but nothing really happened we just ended up watching like family guy and i played some of his video games because he's 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 also a big gamer but he this is my friend i'm talking about not toby by the way in case there was somehow confusion oh my god this traffic <sighs> anyway uh yeah so i was just playing some games at his house like i was playing musashi for the wii which is made by the same people that made Odin Sphere. And I really like Odin Sphere. It's one of my all-time favorite games, so obviously I ate that up. Although, there's no independent jump button. You have to hit up on the control stick to jump, and I, I don't like that at all. <laughs> so that that's my one critique for Musashi. Musashi. I think it's Musashi. But otherwise, it's a really pretty game with gorgeous graphics and everything. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then we went to bed. And then today, I didn't really do much. I followed my friend to his job. He started working at this con that the, the game store called Next Gen uh, Gaming, which is on Wilshire Road. I'm not sure what area you would call that, like North Hollywood-ish. Um, it's apparently where they film the uh, show Online Gamer, uh, which is a web series that I've seen like two episodes of. Um, and it's nice because they have, I mentioned it before, but they have like a lot of old retro games and stuff like that, and they have new games as well. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have Musashi, which I wanted to get. Um, they did have a collector's edition of Tales of Zillia, but it was $60, and I was like, eh, I can't really afford that. So I ended up getting Dragon's Dogma, and I also got uh, Dragon Age Origins on Xbox, because I obviously have like five copies of Dragon Age Origins for PC, but my mom doesn't really like playing PC games. She likes playing games on console, just because she likes sitting in front of the TV more than she likes sitting in front of the computer. So I got her Dragon Age Origins. It was only 6 bucks, so she can... Uh, she can finally join the the Dragon Age fandom. 
Uh, although, of course, she still has to play through Awakening and Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Inquisition is coming out. Anyway, so as far as the Toby thing goes, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll make the video and I'll, sum and I'll submit it and everything like that. I definitely do have the skills that they're looking for, and I think they understand that. The only thing that's kind of a hang-up is that... You know, I'd have to move to LA. They want someone that can come into the office regularly, which would mean I'd have to come to LA because it's a three hour drive. Actually, today it's like a seven hour drive because of fucking traffic. But yeah, it's like a three hour drive between San Diego and Los Angeles, and it costs me like a full tank and a half of gas each time. So, you know, you're looking at 60 bucks um, every time I drive up here and back. So, uh, plus I just don't like being in the car that long. Uh, so, anyway, I would need to move to LA and like, I looked a little bit into it. Uh, my mom has been getting into realty since she uh, retired from the post office a couple years ago. Has it been a couple of years? A year and a half? I don't know. Um, and uh, we were looking at like average prices for uh, Los Angeles and like the cheapest I could find was like 700 a month. And I'm like, uh, oh, damn, cause I don't know what they'd be willing to pay and I don't know how much they would work me. It sounded like they would work me a lot, but as far as like what they'd be willing to pay, you know, even if they work me 40 hours a week at $10 an hour, and $10 would be a lot, because minimum wage is $8, um, that's only $400, and that's not even half of, you know, that, or that is half of rent, but that doesn't take into utilities, you know, internet utilities, uh, laundry, food, uh, money so I don't go crazy, uh, all of that stuff, so even if they did work me full time, I would still obviously have to get other work, and if I have to get other work, then that means less availability for them. But I don't know. I, uh, you know, I still want to try like making t-shirts and prints and stuff like that for my channel. Um, I wouldn't be able to spend as much time on my channel because I'd be focusing on the Tabuscus channel, but I figure it would be a great opportunity to learn, you know, learn how the big boys do it. Although there's still a pretty small team, I gather. I think, I don't know. I'm totally guessing out of my ass here, but I think there's only like five people in the team. Um, and yet they have three channels and they make many, many, many videos for it. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say about that. It's really hot. It was uh, 105 degrees in San Diego yesterday. It was about 95 degrees here in LA, at least where I was. And it feels like it's about the same today. So, uh, but yeah, so I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll do the video. Oh, and I was just going to say that I'm trying to, you know, I still want to put out like t-shirts and prints and stuff. And if I can just sell some of that, you know, maybe if I could find some more regular graphic design slash illustration jobs, um, or maybe just find a second job that I could work at night or something like that, then I would be able to afford to move out here. And I think that would be extremely beneficial to what I'm trying to do. Um, you know, I mean, YouTube, I, I think it'd be fun to, to make YouTube my career, but at the same time, as long as I do something creative where I get to entertain people, you know, I, I would wouldn't mind working for a TV show or a web series or basically anything. And I don't have to act. I, I do like acting, but basically anything where I get to be creative would be nice. Um, yeah, I am really thirsty and hot and yet I still have to pee. So I think I'm going to wrap this video up and I'm going to yell at these cars for being stupid and not driving and <laughs> cause that'll make them drive faster and uh, finished listening to Hunger Games. So, thanks for watching. Tell me, uh, if anyone's watching this, you can tell me what you, uh, if you could move any city in the world, or, okay, not, not for fun, but for like career-wise, if you could move to any city in the world, what would you, where would you try to move? Because where would you think it'd be the most beneficial to your career? Because um, there's places I would rather live, like if I had a lot, a million dollars, there's places I would much rather live than LA. But since I don't have a million dollars and I'm trying to make a career, LA would be good for me. Uh, and leave it in the comments. Like if you like, I'll see you guys later. Bye.